Well, maybe those bloody Vulcas will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize... Wait, I don't believe this. You're, you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? Save me. Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Brezhik and his Valkas would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. I may have been a prisoner, but a Jedi is never helpless. Maybe you've heard of a little thing called the Force? But I suppose I shouldn't be too hard on you. You did try to save me after all, even if it didn't go quite as planned. So let's get down to business. We're not out of danger yet. If I'm going to figure out a way for us to get off this planet, I need to know what kind of resources we can draw on. First, are we the only two survivors left from the Ender Spire? Karth and Nasi is alive? Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. Not win, Revan. Bastila, you're alive! Finally, things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Terrace will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. You know, I had my doubts about this mission, but I figured the Jedi Council wouldn't put you in charge if you weren't prepared. But here you are, acting like a spoiled child. I see. It's true that I don't have much military experience. Perhaps I should not be so quick to judge. Very well, Karth. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. A vision? A vision of what? This is... it's strange. Such visions are often a sign of force sensitivity. I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. The 
force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. How can I help? I would like to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious as to what you and Karth were doing before we all joined forces. I managed to free myself, as I recall. In fact, if I hadn't been there, Brezhik and his thugs might have killed you in that fight. It's probably more accurate to say that I rescued you. I'll admit that I probably wouldn't have been able to free myself if not for the brawl after the swoop race. I guess I should thank you for that, at least. Actually, your presence at the swoop track is what I'm curious about. It couldn't have been an easy task to find me there, yet somehow you managed. You also avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a Volca prisoner, gained sponsorship for the race, and became the Tara Swoop champion. That's quite a resume. Yes. Well, I hardly consider myself a damsel in distress. I'm a member of the Jedi Order, after all. But I won't deny you've impressed me with what you've done. When you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. A Jedi could have done such things, of course. But only by drawing heavily upon the Force. The Force is in all of us. Though for most people, it's barely a measurable whisper. But there are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force-sensitive. It's obvious to me that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success. Though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't... Well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But as it is... I'm sorry. I've overstepped my authority. I'm speaking of things that are best left to the Jedi Council. For now, let's just accept the fact that you're... gifted. Hopefully, between your abilities, my Jedi training, and the skills of our companions, we can find a way off this planet. Yes, what's on your mind? I thought I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. Not particularly. I, I guess it wouldn't hurt exactly either, though I, I, I don't know why you're so interested. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them, is the one that I respected the most, Saul. With good reason. Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I, I argued with him and he got angry and he left. I never saw him again. Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. Even when things looked to be at their worst, I just I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I mean, I could have stopped him. I, I could have stopped it all. I blame Saul, not myself. I was, I was stupid and I ignored the danger. He nearly destroyed us all. No, I fought Saul for years now, and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. Well, there's more to the story, I guess. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go!
In kin kun no bambuli ra ching kun. Tong hai tun kun ching. Ni bobo ji mata, ni pun naje. Dolpi... Rundi hao donga ku hunga bi. Wana kun bes. Ching pala mul tong ki... Takum justak miki grabal mogo. Kachi chu ai thao donga, tulpa da bonk mwalya gando da nago chuchut. Tung hai tuam jiji yu malith pa ang ninko tu. Tulpa da bonk mwalya gando da nago chuchut, kachi chu ai thao donga. Yu malith... Shak ji kin lor chao wa ta uma? Kava vulpa mul ji guma na. Kin kun sha chi kin, ni kin kun o ba muli ra chi kun? I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. <laughs> 